I don't know if we talked about it before, but the um, the the chess master. So I was really hooked on chess. My father, uh, my father taught me how to play chess, and he taught me I was probably eight. And he trained me for four years, and I was 12 the first time I beat him at a game of chess. And once I beat him, he never played me again. I loved it, and I started training. Jada got a grandmaster, Maurice Ashley, who's the first black grandmaster, and she got him to come and teach me for three days. So he taught me this thing, he said, so listen. He says, when you look at a chess board, here's what I want you to do. He said, in your mind, when you look at a position, put your pieces wherever you want them. Pick them up and in your mind and put them where you want them. Where do you wish they were? All right? And I was like, well, yeah, but it can't go. He's like, that's the trick of your mind. I used to watch that all the time with people fighting Mike Tyson. They were walking into the ring yeah, defeated. Yeah, they, lost, they, lost. they were already defeated. Oh. I think it was Mike's first fight out of jail. I fought a guy, you know, big dude, named Pete McNeely. For Pete McNeely, this was his shot at everything. The bell rings, and he charges across the ring and throws 10 haymakers at Mike like nobody I had ever seen, right? And I'm like, yes, exactly. That's your, your shot. shot, that's your shot. He burned everything in the first 60 seconds, and then Mike caught him. <laughs> <laughs> Say in your mind, I want the, oh no, he can't, uh, you're done. You're dead. You're, you're training yourself to not even be able to imagine what you want. How can you stop it in your mind? In your mind has to be the wildest, freest place where you have everything you've ever dreamed. Jaden said a thing. Jaden ran up to me after the jump. And I'd never seen this look in his eyes. He said, Dad, I now understand the difference between me and you. You always have one more go. People get to their limit. And he said, when the helicopter took off, I was at my limit, right? He's like, I would have said, no, put it down. He said, but you have one more go. Your mental and emotional limits are way before your actual limit. So you always have to keep a stash of one more go. Your own mind stops you in places that the world is gonna move out of your way. That's why I love the line in Pursuit of Happiness. Don't ever let somebody tell you, you can't do something. Not even me. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you, you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. Put the pieces wherever you want them. Don't start by telling yourself what it can't be, what it can't. Let your mind go fully to the impossible dream of where they could be. Put them where you want them. And now one move at a time, you work backwards to figure out how to get there, and it's way easier. Put the pieces where you want them. Right? I'm like, that shit, that is strong, man. That is strong.